I'm David Monk, after school STEAM educator with Children's Museum Houston. In a moment, we're gonna do our educator break and do an electromagnetic activity. But before we do that, we wanna give a big shout out to our friends at Center Point Energy for making this investigation happen. Check it out. For this activity, you'll need some tape, uh, copper insulated wire about a foot long, an iron bolt at least three inches long, a D cell battery holder, a D battery, and some paper clips to investigate with. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your iron three inch bolt and your copper insulated wire and you wanna coil it in the center. Coiling is very important to create an electromagnet. It's where the energy flows and creates the magnetic field. An electromagnet is a temporary or artificial magnet. So it has a switch to turn it on or off. You wanna coil the wire around the bolt until you have a couple of inches left. Once you've finished your coiling, you're going to take some tape and secure your wire to the bolt. Once you've created your copper wire coil, the next step is to take the ends of the conductors and attach them to your D-cell battery holder. Once you've connected your conductor to your D-cell battery holder, the last step is to add your D-cell battery. This is the power source. It'll allow the, allow the flow of electrons to go through the conductors and into the coil, which will create the magnetic field. Watch this. And that is how you make an electromagnet. Thank you guys for joining me for this electromagnetic investigation. Again, we wanna give a big thank you to our friends at Center Point Energy. Remember, science can be fun, but it also can be dangerous. If you see a downed power line, do not go near it. Our friends at Center Point want you to be scientists, but they really want you to be safe. <laughs>